I'm gonna show you guys what I got. She's a little sparse. <laughs> I'm like actually obsessed with that. Hello you guys, what is up? So it is currently 11.30 on Friday and today we are going to be going to the dollar store. We're going to be going to Michael's, maybe depending on what they have at the dollar store. And we're going to be kind of, not like redoing my room, but redoing a little wall section in my room. So I talked about this in one of my previous videos, but I want to redo this section here. Um, obviously keep the dresser, but I definitely want to take the photos off the wall here and I want to make these beautiful vases that I saw it was like a DIY thing on TikTok. So I just want to make this wall more like plain and less cluttery because it just looks like really cluttered to me right now. So I just want to take everything off and kind of revamp it, give it a new look. Yeah, I'll play the video for you on TikTok later when I'm doing it. Hey girl, do a DIY project with me. Come, come. So I was looking at these vases on West Elm. They was $140. Girl, please. So I went to Dollar Tree and went down their vase aisle where they have a wide selection of vases. These are the three vases that I chose. Then I went to the grocery aisle and got bacon powder. Not bacon soda, bacon powder. So then I went to Michael's, went down their paint aisle and got a medium-sized bottle of black paint and 99 cent brushes. One big, one small. These are just extra little plants that I want to put in my vase. So then I mix the black paint and the baking powder together until you get this grainy and frothy kind of consistency. Then you're going to do short, small, horizontal strokes to give a realistic feel or texture to it. Then I did the inside of the vase. Then I let it dry two coats and this is the final product for $12. I don't know, it looked really cool and might as well try like to do a cool DIY little thing. So that's what we're doing today. This is my fit for the day. This is from Brandy and this is from Brandy. Cute little brown set. Yeah, I'm just gonna vlog the day, vlog my little um, revampation over here. Yeah, so spend the Friday with me. Also, oh my goodness, I was like, my throat was hurting yesterday because the day before that I was singing and I was like playing guitar and like singing and I haven't sang for a while. I always sing but I never like sit down and like sing for like an hour and that's what I was doing and it killed my throat like my throat is so sore from doing that like it hurt towards the end when I was singing and I didn't really think anything of it and then I woke up the next morning and I'm like Ugh. like my throat just hurts it still is like really sore but it's getting a little better but it's just like so annoying like I couldn't even talk this morning because it was just so sore I was like I gotta say my voice of vlog it's probably like a muscle that I haven't used in a while and it's like Ugh. like dead or something I don't know also so I've been wearing this like fluffy cheetah purse that Deanna got me, my cousin Deanna got me. Thank you, Deanna, again. And I've just like literally been obsessed with it. I want to get so many more tote bags for the summer because I feel like tote bags are going to be all that I'm going to want to wear. But they're just so cute. Like they fit so much and you can just throw all your shit in there and it's like, bam, okay. And for my hair, it was like disgusting. So I put it this claw clip in it. This is from Amazon. You can see it. I just put all my hair in it. A little bit of a tip for you guys. So when my, this is like my sixth day hair or fifth day hair, I think it's my sixth day hair and when your hair is getting like greasy towards the end of the week and you still want to like wear it but you already use so much dry shampoo and it's still getting greasy so what i do is i'll take like the bang section of my front pieces and i'll wash them in the sink like i'll literally take shampoo and just wash like the front section of my hair and it really just like revamps your hair and it makes it like look not greasy from the front and then you can just like do something like this and then you won't even be able to tell so that's my little hack that's what i did this morning because my hair was just like ugh, disgusting mm. This is a vegan brownie that Madison got me. And it is literally the best brownie I've ever tasted. It gets better than a normal non-vegan brownie. It's so good. Literally addicting. Like it tastes so buttery, but there's no butter in it. Which is like, how? Don't understand. I need the recipe. We were going to leave the house. And then I realized, I was like, we didn't even eat anything for breakfast. Because we just had like coffees. So I think we're just going to have something quick. I'm just going to pop some toast in. Have it with some butter. I really want to try like a plant-based egg mix if that makes sense like I've never had a plant-based one So maybe I'll go to the store if I don't forget about it And maybe I'll pick one up because I feel like I would only be able to find that at like a whole food store Okay, so we just got to the dollar store and I have a strong feeling that I'm gonna find everything I need here because dollar stores are so good. They literally have everything. So I feel like I'll definitely find everything I need and I'm not gonna have to go to Michael's, so hopefully. Hi, baby, do you wanna be mine? 
Okay, so they didn't have any black paint left. Like literally their whole paint aisle was swiped. So I got brown instead and I feel like that's still gonna look good. We're just trying to find like the clear vases right now. Got the brushes and the brown. So now we just need baking powder and then the clear vases. Okay guys, so we just got back from the dollar store. I found these two at Dollar Tree and they were literally only a dollar each. Like the total came to two dollars and something cents. Like I was shook, okay. And they're so cute. I got two different shapes. And then I got a whole bunch of like fake um spring cute flowers to put in the vases afterwards i'll show you guys like them afterwards but they're so cute and i think it's gonna turn out so nice and i'm honestly happy that there was no black because i think the brown is gonna look even better i don't think she said how much baking soda or baking powder to put yeah she said until you get this grainy and frothy effect so it's gonna look a little weird. Okay, I'm actually really excited to do this. So I just got this pack of brushes because they didn't really have at the dollar store, they didn't have like the brush brush that I wanted really. So this will have to do. This is like basically just the one that I wanted, but they didn't have this individually. Actually, this one will be good too, I feel like. Okay, let's get into it. Got the baking powder. I've never done this before. I feel like this is like a little bit of a hack to get like a really cool consistency. I don't wanna spill that. Okay, I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna put a lot. I'm gonna put some baking powder in it. Okay, don't know really how much. I wish she did like measurements, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, she getting thick. I'm like so curious on what the baking powder like actually does to it. Okay, I feel like this is good actually. It's funny because my mom was like, don't get your clothes dirty. And I'm like, Bruh. I'm literally wearing brown and I'm painting brown. So I don't think anything's getting dirty today. Good day to wear brown. Oh, okay. I'm guessing actually the baking powder gives it like a matte wool effect is what I'm guessing. Okay, so this is what I got. It's kind of like frothy. Just gonna get into it. Okay. Probably gonna have to do multiple coats. Okay, coat one. She doesn't look too hot. She's a little sparse. <laughs> so we're gonna just leave it dry, I guess, for a bit while I paint the other one. So I'm gonna do this one and then we'll see if that one's ready for another coat, I guess. I don't really know. Okay, so this one actually looks a bit better than that one. Whoa, that's drawing really ugly. I hope this ain't about to be a big fail. This one is looking all wonky for some reason. I don't know why. Is it the baking powder? Like, what is it doing? Why does it look so bad? Damn, these look bad. Actually, I'm gonna just do, oh, it's dry. I'm gonna just do another coat right now. Okay, second coat's looking a little better. Have some faith. <laughs> Gotta look shitty, actually. Okay, you guys, so the last coat of paint is officially drying. I did like literally four or five coats on it because I should have put maybe like a primer on it or something, but I just like, whatever. I feel like it'll turn out fine either way. It's not gonna be like the best paint job, but it's fine. Anyway, so we're gonna remove these photos now. Joel's gonna help me and just get this wall completely blank. Alright you guys, a couple hours later, here's the final result. They actually turned out pretty good. What do you think, Joel? I think they look pretty good. They look like a nice like hand uh, handmade like, clay. They kind of do actually. They're kind of a vibe over here. I can't wait to add the flowers in them. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so these are the flowers that I got. They're just like fake flowers, but they're so spring and I think it's gonna add such a cute pop of color to my room. So I got these to go together. No, wait, uh, no, wrong, wrong. <laughs> so I got these the yellow and the pink to go together. Oh my God, they look so good with the color. <gasps> I still gotta take the tags off them, but I just, I just need to put them in right now. Oh my God, that looks adorable. Okay, so then I got this lilac one, purple with white to go together. I gotta cut this one though, cause it's kind of like super long. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my God, stop. That is so cute. What was the total price of that? I honestly think that I paid $10 for the flowers altogether. The vases were $2 each, and then the paint was like a dollar. So it's like less than $15. Yo, okay, you guys, you gotta get on this shit. Look at how cute that is. It's the same price as a bouquet of flowers. For a real bouquet, yeah. You got, oh my God, this makes me so happy. Doesn't it look better than the photos? Yeah, it looks so like simple, less cluttered. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. 
<gasps> Thank you to that girl's video that was on TikTok. So what I did though, just to clarify, is I did the first layer with baking soda and I noticed it was kind of getting like a little too chalky. I think I put too much in. So then for the other like five or so layers, I just did like regular paint and it turned out perfect. So I'm so happy. And I also have this like picture up here. So maybe if I put that behind there, that would look good. Let's see. Uh -huh. I feel like the picture has to be hung up if I want to do that because it kind of looks bad when it's just like there. I feel like it would look good if it was hung up. But oh my god, these vases look so cute. Go do this, you guys. It literally costed me less than $15. Okay, I just took the painting down or the picture thing down. Vote down below if you think I should hang the picture up on the wall or if I should keep it on top of there. Vote down below, bitches. I'm so indecisive when it comes to these things. And also, I feel like if I were to hang it up there, I would just use like a command hook because I don't want to put a hole in my wall because I'm not there for commitment yet. I just need to change things often. So I feel like this, this area, like this wall here is always going to be changing because i just get bored of things so fast but yeah vote down below if you think i should put the picture up there or not also don't hate me but i'm already kind of getting bored of my picture frames here like the vogue and the dior so let me know down below if you guys have any ideas on what to put in those picture frames because i definitely want to change them up soon but i have no idea what to put in them so let me know some suggestions okay here's a better view of these picture frames please leave me suggestions even if it's a suggestion to like take the picture frames off and put something else let me know because i just don't know what to do and i'm bored of them but i just don't want pictures to put in there i'm like really obsessed with the beach and everything so like anything tropical i feel like i would put in there but i'm not sure what would look good like i don't i don't know i need your help please help me out if you guys have any ideas leave them down below i'm like actually obsessed with that like i'm actually obsessed like oh my goodness that is so cute <gasps> Hey you guys, so it is currently Saturday and I'm going to a dress fitting right now with my sister for her prom dress. If you guys haven't seen the video where I shot for her prom dress, she bought it like a few months back and now she's having a fitting for it because it came in because I had to order it. So I'm going to go with her. This is my fit for the day, just wearing like a sweatsuit kind of thing with this cheetah purse again. Yeah, this weather is kind of being so bipolar. Like just last week I was wearing, or not even just last week, just like a few days ago I was wearing like shorts and a tank top out. And I'll have to go back and wear like sweaters and sweatpants. Lovely bipolar polar weather going on here yeah so i'm just gonna bring you guys along with me for the day to finish this vlog off i'm still like extremely obsessed like so cute <gasps> mm, straight pose mm, 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 mm. three two one go okay go Okay, so we just went to Starbucks and the guy there helping us was so cute. He was so nice and literally when someone is nice like that, like when they're working, it's just so, so nice. Yeah. Cheers, mate. I got a strawberry salad lemonade blended, but then he um, suggested I get peach in it and it's so good. So cheers to you. Don't know your name, but thank you. I love people that suggest things, you know? Joe, what'd you get? <coughs> brown sugar uh, americano or something like that. Uh, pretty good. I got the brown sugar oat milk shaking espresso. So good. It's like one of my favorite drinks now. And then I got a bean and quinoa wrap. Mm. So this is her grad dress. Comment down below if you think I should do a sleep bag bun with it. Oh, the back is like the highlight, like the open That's so cute. Hi, baby, do you want to be mine? Maybe we can see the seaside. Want to kick it with you? Okay, so we just finished the dress fitting and then we went into this small business locally owned store and the lady came up to us who was working there and she was like, oh, can I tell you about our store? So we're like, of course. And basically everything is basically either donated or like upcycled and they do get like donated a lot of brand new stuff like from vans and like companies like that. And in the back they have like a soup kitchen where all the proceeds go there. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard what I said, but basically that store was so cute. Go visit it if you're in the New West area. It's along the strip with like all the bridal galleries and stuff um i'll put the name right here basically all the proceeds go to the food baking in the back that helps the community so yeah it's honestly awesome i love finding like small businesses like that it's honestly the best when you purchase from them because you know your money's going somewhere good rather than buying from like a big corporation it's really really nice so good vibes yeah good vibes in there and you know what when i find a place with good vibes it she makes my it. yes and it makes my day like it makes me feel so happy oh my goodness Hello. Stop it. This heat isn't real. Smells like puppy now. When we picked him up, he smelled like a bomb. 
Okay, first of all, when I was walking in, I spilled like my whole coffee on me. Well, not my whole coffee. You know, like when you have ice left in the cup and there's like a tiny bit of coffee, I spilled that on me. Got a little bit of a stain here, so I need to throw my pants in the wash after I do this segment. But and I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a grocery haul what I got. But first of all, I got these vegan quinoa go-go, go-go quinoa puffs sriracha. They're actually really good and they kind of give you that craving for a cheese puff, you know what I'm saying? Got these. And then I got some zinc and biotin because I just needed more of these vitamins. And then now for the exciting stuff. So I got this vegan cheese and it's called Nuts for Cheese, Artichoke and Herb, Organic and Dairy Free. So that's her. And I've never seen this before, but every time I see a new vegan cheese, I just want to buy it to try it because I definitely want to find like a holy grail vegan cheese because I haven't found one yet. Like I found some good ones, but nothing that's like, mm, you know what I'm saying? So I'm so excited to try this one and it looks really good because it's made with cashews. And I think that's the trick is when something has a cashew base, I find it to be a lot better than anything else. And this is a brand that I've never seen before. So I'm really excited to try this. And then the next thing that I got, I got these fake eggs and I'm going to make them like right now. So I'm really excited to try try this and then madison just got like cheesy puffs which i'm not gonna eat but these are really good so let's actually let's open this up and see what's like inside and i'm also gonna show you guys what i got from the store the little small business that i went to um i bought a pair of shorts so i'll show you them when i go back up to my room so i can try them on okay yeah this is what i thought it's like powder so there's soy base soy protein yeah it literally looks like it's gonna be like a little carton of four eggs which is funny because it's trying to like mimic an egg carton so let's follow the directions and let's make some fake eggs and see how they taste it also says that you can bake with them here and just like swap it for a literal egg so that's actually really interesting and good because then i can make like normal recipes and then just swap the eggs for this if they're good i'm actually really excited to try this it said to do it for seven to eight minutes so because it says it takes way longer than normal egg to cook so i'm gonna put a timer on for like six minutes i guess and see okay but like it actually looks like a real egg kind of i did not expect that okay so they look like about cooked i think so i'm gonna put them on a plate with some hot sauce and see how they taste i'm actually really excited because they do look quite similar to an actual egg might have overcooked them though but we'll see okay they're cooked i did a little fit change because of the coffee spill but they look like real eggs okay 10 out of 10 for the look for the cooking 10 out of 10 felt like real eggs they do smell weird so i'm kind of scared skeptical okay we're gonna dip them in the hot sauce just to give them a little extra flavor oh my god i'm kind of scared okay the only thing i did was add pepper and salt and then water and then the powder that's it <laughs> okay okay here we go wow they taste very similar to real eggs. Very similar. I'm very impressed. Review. They taste way more similar to real eggs than I thought. But, okay, you know that thing that's like put into, I think it's like when you make something gluten free and then it's like the Xanax gum or something. I don't mean, not Xanax. Something, something gum that they put in there to like make it stick together. I taste that in the eggs. Like it's very similar to this gluten free bread that my mom used to make so they definitely have that in them because i taste that but otherwise they're actually like really good like i give it a solid eight out of ten eight out of ten and i feel like if you mix these with like mushrooms and make like a more of a scramble with it you wouldn't even barely be able to tell yeah i'm very impressed wow i didn't expect them to be actually like this good mm. There you have it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I got <clears throat> from the little shop that I went to. I'm gonna put these shorts on because I didn't even try them on in the store. I just bought them because I kind of know like what's gonna fit me. Here they are. Look at how cute they are. They just say New York and they're from originally Brandy Melville. Okay, here are the shorts. Look at how cute they are. They fit perfectly. I mean, I knew they would. And they're just perfect for the summer with like a, just to throw over a bikini or something. I'm literally in love with them. They're so comfy and cute and they're really good quality too. Here's the back. They cover my butt perfectly. Good gracious ass bodacious. Mm -hmm. Remember, it wasn't all that long ago. Remember, I was in your driveway in November. We ain't even make it through December. Now you won't even let me befriend ya. Now my sister checking for ya on the regular. By the sound of it, your man's is a regular fan. Regular fan. I know that you know we had it better. I know